let us come back and recap the whole process what actually we did so in this episode we talked about how can we integrate a custom task ui with sap build process automation business process so when do we need a custom task ui a custom task ui is required in sap build process automation when we need to design a complete custom scenario where your business would expect you to design a completely fresh ui5 screen we don't want to go with default experience of sap build approval form or a normal form let's say you want to integrate charts graphs tables lists or multi select drop down things like that so that is not possible with a normal approval form so then you design a task ui in this process you will first build a task ui fury application in business application studio tool then you need to package and deploy this task ui you need to then check the deployed application in the cloud and then you need to configure the form or import that form as a ui application then you need to plug that form in the process and then finally follow the deployment process and testing the process so what we did as part of the step number 1 we created the task ui how did we do that we went to business application studio and here we design our complete end to end task ui as a custom fury application which also does an exchange of data the interesting part here is i have integrated a multi select combo box yeah so this is why we design a task ui because the standard approval form does not give us this capability so this is step number 1 then we right click and build this mta and then we deploy this custom task ui to the sap btp platform as a as a html5 application so in my btp platform it was imported it was deployed as a html5 custom application in the repository once this step is complete we went to sap build process automation and we then go to overview to import that form by giving the application id and version and then we got that entire candidate form thing over here as a custom task ui and you can see the link of the manifest file as well so after that step is complete we plug that form with our hiring hr hiring business process because our goal is to send this form to the candidate candidate will fill all the details about their work experience and everything or validate that and then give a go ahead once submitted the hr is going to receive all the information yes on a another approval form which is a standard approval form from the build process hr will then have opportunity to accept or reject the proposal by the candidate and eventually the process ends so to test this process we go back to the postman tool we pass the candidate details employer name let's say sap labs work experience email id country budget and skill set and comment so i trigger the build process and as a result the candidate will first get the work item where candidate will review their skill set so you can see candidate have received this work item they confirm all the details including skills and everything yeah so it's a pure custom ui this is my ui5 application which i had built and integrated with the with the uh, sap build process yeah i approve it so candidate approves it then as a result hr is going to get an approval form you can see an approval form that is the standard approval form from sap build process automation so hr receives this approval form now with the skill set data and everything and hr decides okay this candidate is suitable for the current job she goes for approve or reject and then this is the email id the candidate is having and so candidate is going to get automatically an interview call for joining the interview based on the review done by the hr so eventually what happens you can see an email is received over here by the candidate uh, with the name 
that you have been invited to attend an interview. So this is how we can design a complete end-to-end -end HR hiring business process in SAP Build Process Automation with a completely brand new customized task UI. Thank you once again for joining this episode. If you like this work, please like, share, subscribe this channel and kindly hit the bell icon so you will get more interesting videos like this free and share this video series with your colleagues in the WhatsApp group. Thank you once again and see you in the next episode.